And make sure you check out Texaco. Uh, so many different ways to save money when you get out there. Back over here in the studio now, we're joined by Jerry Santos and Kamuela Kimokeo. Mahalo nui for being here, guys. Yeah, hey, aloha. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it together. I'm fanboying a little bit right now. <laughs> uh, but, but let's talk a little bit about um, this upcoming show that's coming up with you folks. Uh, but before we get to that, like, how did this duo come to be? Well, it's pretty, pretty obvious, you know, I was a young person <laughs> and uh, Still as, young like person. many people yeah. I was a fan of Jerry Santos so in high school I'd go watch him play I'd bring my ukulele and I'd play along eventually he would call me to play with him and then it wasn't as it was about 13 years ago when he was asked to play uh, mm -hmm. for uh, we're we gonna tell them we're, we're on it we'll call him back yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were asked he was asked to play at a hotel and uh, they called me and said uh, you take over. Let yeah. me turn this off. <laughs> they said, stop that noise. Yeah. No, actually, I've known Kamuela for a long time because he played with his dad when he was growing up. So when Olomana, which I was a big of course. part of for, gosh, over four decades, was really kind of winding down and I was deciding how much I really wanted to do, I had been offered some opportunities and I was thinking, should I do this or shouldn't I? And Kamuela happened to be in the area. Um, volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club Did you out, in Nana, right out in Nanakuli. So he said, I'll be down the road if you want me. And so it started like that. And just the idea of playing together. When you can find somebody that you have such trust in terms of their ability mm -hmm. and the ability to communicate non-verbally, it allows you to create in a moment. And for a musician, that's that's the best job. And we've been stuck ever since. Yes. <laughs> I know where he lives. He's not getting away from me. Come on, I got to ask as well. You, you grew up as a fan of Jerry Santos. Then what is that moment like when Jerry Santos is calling you like, bro, you want to come? You want to come play? I didn't, just grow, like, Whoa. I didn't just grow up as a fan. I grew up in Kahalu'u as well. So oh. like, you know, he's one of our hometown heroes. <laughs> yeah. So absolutely, when, when, when Jerry would call, it was... Like, what? And, you know, so I'd real. call my friends and be like, hey, I'm going to go. Last night I got to play with Jerry Santos or I had a gig with Jerry Santos. Oh, my God. I would flex on everyone, I you know. know yeah, like, I had no I would too. I had no idea he felt like that. This, that means I didn't have to pay him all these that's, years. That's what High Now is all about. You know, we bring in, we bring in the good stories over here. Let's talk about uh, what's taking place May 12th, though. Uh, it's going to be a Mother's Day show. And tell us about the venue, especially. It's We're be, yeah. celebrating Mother's Day this year out at the... Central Oahu Event Center. I always get that backwards, OCD, yeah. <laughs> at Mango Street Grill. And um, it's become one of my favorite places to go and play music. I celebrated my birthday playing music there. We celebrated Christmas playing there. Um, it's out of the way in Wahiawa, but it reminds me of a throwback to places that I played a lot over the years. It's very comfortable for local people. They've repurposed the old Dots restaurant. Mm -hmm. So the stage is huge, all kinds of possibilities in the room, and it's comfortable. So local people don't have to go drive through Waikiki or get into a hotel parking lot or do any of those things. It's the kind of place where, you know, people seem like they're having a good time. And you make new friends. Real community oriented. So the place and it's being developed more and more. More and more um, events are taking place out there. I think Maka's sons were just Ooh. there. Um, so they're having a lot more shows. Yeah, but these are some serious shows uh, I like, happening. Yeah, I like the event one. So Mother's Day was a no-brainer. Oh, definitely. That's going to be a great show. Uh, come on, how, how can people get tickets? Uh, stay up to date and make sure well, you I think, check I think out. probably one of the best ways that they can get tickets uh, is to just go to their Instagram or Facebook page, the Mango Street Grill. There's information about how to get tickets, not only for this show, but for uh, any of their upcoming events and shows. That's probably a good way to stay up to date, but also you can go and find the Mango Street Grill's website. Okay, and uh, Jerry, real quick before I let you go, Kuuhomeo Kahalu. This, we're coming up on now 50 years uh, since this song has been written. You put this song together. Did you ever kind of envision what Kuuhomeo Kahalu would become? The, the song is really a, um, a testament to my Hanai sister who taught me to play the guitar, and we played together all through high school ages, um, a conversation with her. So uh, I never thought about it going beyond that, but over the years, what most people talk to me about is their experience, their family life, where they're from. So it's more than just a, a play song, it's a song about personal relationships. And I think once in a career, perhaps you might stumble upon something that's a universal thing, so that it doesn't matter where people are from, 
you know, they all have that start. Oh man, and then the iconic start, ding, it's like, okay, stop. I'm listening. <laughs> and you know, sometimes as a musician, you work on things for long periods of time, trying to perfect it and get it right. And that song is exactly the way it came out. Oh, well, you know, congratulations so, on so that. So maybe that's why <laughs> it has a life of its own. Okay, I love it. We're going to head to break right now, but stay with us on High Now, because coming up after the break, we promised you a live musical performance, and we got it coming up right now on High Now. After the break, though. Okay. Okay. Did we, did we call back? It wasn't even a call. Calling, calling. 